Hello, I'm Thomas Reiner, and we're on Fancy Hill Farm today, and today we're going to be castrating or cutting piglets. And so we don't have a lot of experience doing that. As a matter of fact, we've only done five or six. The five or six we did went well, but I have a lot of people ask me about cutting piglets, and a lot of people have uh, some funny questions, so this might help with some of that. So over the next few minutes, we'll show you how we castrate the pigs. I'm not going to show you the actual deed because I think that might be a bit much for folks but I'll show you the steps and the preparations for how we actually castrate or cut small boars. All right, first up, we're gonna talk a little anatomy. Might be more details than you wanna know, but this is our large breeder boar, so he is fully intact. And then, unlike horses, cows, or goats, their testicles actually hang off their backside, so they're not underneath. So you cannot band a pig or do anything like that. You actually have to physically cut the pig and then remove his testicles. So that's what an intact boar looks like on a rather chilly day. All right, and here is a male pig that's been cut and you can see the difference. There is nothing back there. And he's a good eight month old pig, you know, and he would be hanging out there. So that's what one looks like after it's been cut. Here's a little piglet, and these are gonna be one of the guys that we're gonna be cutting today. And so, that's about the size that we'll be cutting ours. Some people cut them at like two or three weeks. We cut them somewhere between six and eight weeks. And we always try to wean them about a week before we cut them, so it's not doubly traumatic for them. But anyway, there's the anatomy. We'll talk some more here in a second. Okay, so we're up here where we got the pigs separated, the piglets. And a couple things, obviously you want to make sure you feed them good, water them good, just basic stuff. We always put down fresh chips because you don't want to have any, you know, increase any chance of getting an infection. So have some good fresh chips down when you, when you castrate them or cut them. And then in a minute we're going to mark out the boars because we got females and males in here. So we'll mark those out so it'll make it easier to pick them up when we cut them. Okay, so we marked all of the females. You see the orange chalk mark on them. No big deal, doesn't hurt them at all. Washes off easy. And that way we know if it's not orange marked, it'll be a male. And then it'll be easy to tell after we cut them, we put something called blue coat on them and it, it'll stain them blue. So we'll know which males have been cut and which have Okay, so here's our setup. We're gonna actually try laying the pig on a tub and then one person will squat over top the pig, pin his legs open, cause he'll be laying on his back and then I'll make the incision. And then right beside it, close at hand, we've got gloves if we need them. we got alcohol. And then I actually have, it's a, um, a blade. I'm not going to pull it out. It's very sharp for doing the actual cutting. And you want something really sharp because these, these guys have super tough skin. And then at the end, you're going to want some blue coat. You put that on them, it helps, helps keep them from getting infected. All right, one other important piece. When you pick a piglet up, it is a prey animal, so it will squeal because mamas come running when they squeal. So you're not even hurting it, it's going to be squealing. Put on some headphones or earplugs because they are loud. Right, so when you spread out, you can either make an incision there, one incision or two incisions. Some people go across. Either way will work. And then you just cut down, squeeze them out, snip them off, and he will be back to normal in no time. Okay, so we went ahead and did five of the pigs, and those three have been cut, and you can see they're standing there fine, or a lot of times they do lay down and rest. You can kind of see on the backs of them, we put the blue coat so we know which ones we've already done. There is another one over there. And it's obviously doing fine because it's already been cut and running around. So tomorrow we'll do some more, but pretty much that's how they work. Here's some that haven't been cut. They're just laying there chilling out. So a lot of times the females will go check on them just like that little female is doing. And uh, this guy right here, that's the one that's been cut before. He was one of the first ones. I think he was the first one. So you can see he's pretty much already bounced back and doing his own thing. So, real quick, painless, and it's done.